Well, here we are in London and it's home. So it's always very special for me uh, to bring any film that I'm in um, to my hometown. I remember coming down to Leicester Square when I was a kid to see movies at the Trocadero or the Odeon, so yeah, it's lovely. Well, Kong is an icon of motion pictures. He's, uh, I think he's 84 years old this year um, and still growing, apparently. <laughs> um, and really it was just a chance to, you know, I feel like I spent my whole childhood running away from Kong in my head and this was a chance to do it for real life. This film is probably more than any film I've made. It most resembles a roller coaster ride. You sort of, it, it, I've watched it with people and they feel like they're kind of taken on a journey. Um, in a way, it's quite an old fashioned adventure like that, but with all the new thrills and spells of a contemporary take. So, um, yeah, play a former uh, SAS tracker. So he was with the British Special Forces as a specialist in jungle reconnaissance and the recovery of lost soldiers. And the team um, hire him to go on the expedition to this undiscovered island to, uh, to lead ground expeditions because he knows his way around the jungle and a sharp object. It's just full of action. It's, it's, it's an immersive spectacle. Um, in a way, the explorers arrive on the island on a helicopter and it feels like that never stops. Basically, you're kind of on this ride um, and exposed to the elements. I hope it just is um, relentlessly entertaining. Some great performances from Samuel L. Jackson, John C. Riley, Brie Larson, and Kong is breathtaking. Um, 100 feet tall and um, quite something. I think it's something to do with, I mean, if, in 1933 he was, he was a big monster in a big movie. At the time was very special. Um, I think he's endured as a character because he's come to represent nature and uh, man's relationship with nature um, that sometimes uh, nature runs on its own steam and it doesn't need us interfering and people feel for Kong in that way like whenever you know mankind human beings get in the way it's like well he was minding his own business on his own island um, there's something about him we love oh man it's such an honor I've never been part of a film that has had this kind of reception before so I'm kind of losing my mind right now this is so surreal <laughs> You know, it's, it's always the metaphor, the story that's underneath it. And I think now more than ever, having a film that's fun and exciting and that you can watch on a large screen that has a lot of heart in it, but is also about issues regarding who we are as humans, what's worth protecting, and our environment are, are big questions. My character is Mason Weaver. She's a self-proclaimed anti-war photographer. Um, and she sneaks onto this mission, this mission because she has a feeling that something's up. That there's something, there's a big story here, but she doesn't know quite what it is. Oh, I, I mean, I think that, you know, Kong is such a large character. I think you can expect really big set pieces. It looks absolutely stunningly beautiful. We shot in Hawaii, Australia, Vietnam, so you're going to see beautiful locations. I think he just represents the, the animal nature inside of us, the part of us that we know is strong and powerful, but, but can lead with a gentle heart. Oh, it's always great to be in the UK and great to be here with a film that you know I think is pretty exciting and wonderful, so it's going to be good. King Kong, it's, like, it's always the thing, it's a childhood fantasy, you know, it's one of those things I've been seeing all my life and pretended to run away from with my friends and all of a sudden you have a real chance to do it, so you jump at it. I don't, know, I don't know what the myth is or the mystery of being uh, in a particular place with something that's that huge, that's that dangerous, uh, and seeing how you can match a witch with it. Uh, yeah, he's a uh, commander of a helicopter troop who's uh, asked to take these scientists to this mysterious island for some uh, experiments. And it's supposed to be a babysitting mission, but they get there and it turns into something else. Amazing locations and action.